Your team split games last week. What were the highlights that you saw from your guys in those contests? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, down at Simpson on Wednesday, we really did a great job sharing the ball, uh, especially the first half. I want to guess that we had six different guys make three-pointers, so uh, it was a very up-tempo, fast-paced game, and our guys were doing a great job passing the ball in that game. Against Coe, um, we didn't shoot it particularly well. Uh, give them credit for it, and our assisted turnover ratio was not very good, and we shot it poorly from the free throw line. I think we ended up 11 for 20 from the free throw line, so all those things added up to going into overtime and uh, being on the bad end of that loss. Jordan Cannon scored his thousandth point last Wednesday. Tell us about his career and what you've seen from him over the years. Well, he just at times makes it look very, very easy out there. Uh, when he did score his thousandth point at Simpson, I wasn't aware of it till Coach Stagey mentioned it and looked up at the scoreboard late in the game and realized that he had achieved that. So it came very quietly. He, he shares a ball very well with his teammates. And so it's a real feather in his cap that he scores the way he does as efficiently as he does. You host Loris in the second meeting tonight. What does your game plan look like against them? Well, they have their big two inside outside combo that they're going to go to and and a third guy uh, in a guard that shoots it very well from the perimeter from the three point line. So we're really looking to contain those three guys if we can and and hopefully do a better job running offense this time than what we did uh, last time we played them. I, I think we'd like to be up tempo in this game and try to get the ball into the hands of our scores as much as we can. Good luck tonight. Thank you.